When this boiler's in operation, we've got flue gas traveling through the passes, and so this rope provides a gas seal so that we don't have flue gases escaping out, which is going to tend to overheat that metal. So we use rope when we've got a narrow surface to cover. It gives us good compression. Um, typically, we adhere that on there with spray adhesive because it's the job of the adhesive to hold it on there um, until we get the door closed. When we open the boiler up, um, it usually just falls right off, and that's great because we want to replace it every time that we open and close the boiler. Lastly, we want to have an overlap on the ropes so that we are sure we don't have a gap for flue gases to escape. We talked about rope before, uh, but I'd also like to talk about felt uh, or fiber wool blanket strips. Uh, one of the big benefits of using a blanket strip is that we can get a much wider sealing surface. So if we've got a, a lip that's a couple inches wide, uh, we get a good complete seal. Now on this rear door, we're also using rope, but it's sealing the narrower surface there. So by using blanket which compresses easily and using a firm rope which doesn't compress as well, we get a combination. We get a good hard seal here, really nice seal, but we also get um, plenty of compression so that that can draw up. If we had two really firm sealing media, one might compress and not allow compression on the other. So mixing and matching those sealing materials can really give us uh, a, seal, a good seal on the rear door, which is important.